You talk about just the joy of riding waves. Uh, this is a dream day to be on the North Shore. You want to surf all day long, be at the beach, cancel all your plans. And if you're wearing a jersey today, you're one of the best surfers in the world on the Challenger Series. Heat number five just about to get started. As we'll see Sally Fitzgibbons lock into her first wave of the morning. Nice, clean, classic, fitzy wrap. Little foam on the face, but still has enough drive to power through it. And she will drive through a final section. We'll take another look, starting with Sally Fitzgibbons. Yeah, so Sally taking off on this wave after the set. You see that foam on the face that she has to kind of engage the, the fins on. Beautiful swoop. She's on that Glen Pang surfboard, so local shaper under her feet. Boards are looking good and flowy, but you see the chatter on the face. It's so tricky. Now it's time for Coco Ho to get started. Big opening front side hook. Showcasing that local knowledge a little bit late to the second effort. But boy, did she connect on that first turn. That was beautiful from Coco. It's so fun watching her technique because she never fully extends her body. And that's something that I really um, think is a positive attribute in her surfing. She's just able to keep spring loaded and able to attack sections. Get busy, get that first wave under your feet. And then Coco just waiting on the bottom through that turn, buries the rail. Unfortunately there, you see the fins kind of disengage and that kind of held her back from making making that maneuver and having the timing that she would have wanted. But this move right here is so great. You see how that rail is engaged at this angle. Fortunately, none of the ladies in position. Here we go, taking advantage. Pua de Soto setting up her first turn. Nice clean open face hook and she has to step right off only allowing one move there on the back end. Now Summer Macedo going up on the island of Maui. Patiently waiting to come around the corner, throwing a nice fan of spray off the top. So back-to-back -back waves that offer one maneuver, first Pua, then Summer. Summer already had a 2.0. And then Summer Macedo out the back, and that's what I'm talking about there. Is she Probably wanted a bottom turn right there to really get in that critical section. Unfortunately, she has to take a kind of more uh, horizontal approach. Nine minutes on the clock. Coco Ho, local hero, with some speed, just skipping down the line in front of that wedge. One of the cleanest wraps you'll see. Down to the bottom, has to trim it again into a cutback. Lighting up that section on her forehand. Now Coco's got some room to shut it down. What a well-read wave for the local hero. Coco Ho, 5.57 five, on her opener. She made some great adjustments down the line as well when the lift disappeared on the second section. She went right into a wrap and saved the best for last. This is her wave from the beginning. Yeah, so you see there's that split right there. She uses that little bottom projection to kind of read through that one. You watch the footwork as she readjusts to start getting really busy on these critical sections on the inside. You would think, you know, that move right there was money, and then obviously this finishing maneuver was so impressive. Those two dynamic maneuvers on the end. Their family runs deep with how much they love the ocean and sharing the spirit of aloha. As we look at a snap to start off the top for Sally Fitz. Nice clean re-entry on the end section, and she'll style her way in her kick out. She loves doing that when she's feeling it. And now we'll see Pua throwing some water. Nice setup work there. She wants this thing to really bowl. She'll jam it real quickly as she saw the white water shutting it down. So Pua DeSoto needing a 3.91 to move into the top two. There was a lot to contend with. It was raining. It was just wild conditions. Right now, Poe doing some great work on her backhand. Beautiful style. She winds through this number of maneuvers. Love to see her get just a tiny bit more critical on those sections. More waves on the way. Summer Macedo has a big stretched out wall to work with. Set up snap. A little bit of turbulence on the open face. Ends up shutting that wave down such a long time. Looks like we've got some action here. Sally Fitzgibbons. Nice big front side whip. Setting up the second effort. Clean wrapping cutback. 
And Sal's just going to fade it one more time. Three similar types of maneuvers make it four through this inside track. This one's got a nice line towards the end section. Plenty of time to wind up for it. Snap to slide. She'll let go of the finish. Start to uh, come to the score line. But that right there was a tight hook from Sal. And she goes right back to that white water. This wave kind of fattening out as it hits this uh, deeper basin. She's got to wind through the cutbacks. And look for this inside section. So thinking about this cutback, like cutback scenario from Sally, and looking for this inside section, she really spent a lot of time and energy waiting for this last move to eventuate, and unfortunately goes down. This first maneuver though was just such a patented wrap from Sal, and keeps her tight in that pocket. And then that wave, like I said, kind of goes a bit fat. You can tell just how tricky it is. It almost just dissipates through that whole section. He works it over and gets that inside set. Interesting ride from Sal. Here comes Pula de Soto. Deep on this one, she'll be forced to step off. Unfortunate use of first priority there. <laughs> they were so fun to watch on the championship tour this year. Wow, huge turn from Sal. That was great. Super stylish. Belted it right off the lip. So yeah, big situation for, for Betty Lou, number four in the world. As she looks like she's going to shut this one down. 15 seconds. Coco's going to drive. See that warble in the wave. Timing is perfect. Goes down the wrap. Bottom turn sets up the lip to hit. Inside track's looking fun. Throws the tail out. Solid performance. And this is Summer Macedo. She'll continue to surf this wave if she got up in time. And now driving with some momentum, Macedo is chasing an 8.33, attacking it for a well-timed finish. Yeah, this is the part of the wave that we kind of missed as we finished up on Coco's, but it doesn't look like Summer got too much done on the outside section as she winds to that cutback and maneuver. Solid on her feet, looking at this inside section, winding down the line. This move for me is a hammer. Had she done three turns of that caliber on that wave on the outside section? Last of Summer, Macedo, not enough. 5.73 exits out in third. Pua de Soto exits in fourth. And the veterans completely take over. Heat number five in the round of 48. Coco and Sally in the top two spots moving into the next round.